Welcome back, witches and wizards. Today we are gonna put a roof on Microplier's house and also teach him how to make a waterfall. Say hi, B. Hi, B. <laughs> She's actually currently here at my house. We, she set up her laptop. I'm on my computer. We are gonna build two different kinds of roofs to put on the house. Mind the bat inside Mark's house. He doesn't want to leave yet. There he goes. Oh, bye. Bye. Um. Bye. <gasps> Sorry. How dare you? Okay, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. How dare you? Yeah. It's oh, fixed. Okay. We are in creative mode, but we are going to refrain from using things that Mark can't get currently where he is right now. The last time we saw, the last episode we saw was episode six where he actually did get diamonds. Uh -huh. So again, we are going to use materials that Mark can get currently right now as of episode six of getting diamonds. Um, so no end stuff, no marble, no nether stuff, because he hasn't gone there yet. We get a lot of slimes just chilling there around, but that's because it's a fl super flat world. Yeah, and we did have a witch over there, uh, but she wandered off somewhere. Yeah, yeah. just don't mind the weird... Sclooshy noises. Yes, or the occasional bats, or, uh, the pigs and creepers and everything it's like time. that. It's time! It's time for extreme home makeover! Yay! All right, let's go. All right. Your house is mine. Yep, so she, we built replicas, exact replicas of the houses, of Mark's house. Um, she already started. Yes. Um, just, just slightly. Just, just slightly. Oh, yeah, there's a village over there. Um, so, Mark. Markiplier. Marky Moo. Mark, baby, Mark. Why, why did you use the same color? For the floor. It's for the floor. Come on. Not, it's not a good color. Yeah, I know. We we acknowledge that you have birch, and we know that you have uh, oak. So why not just do this? Oh. Oh. You can easily just go and make it a different color. Make it look nice for guests. For your viewers, Mark. Come on. Wee. Oh, yes. Yeah, I remember uh, we were both watching uh, episode six together. She, B had already seen the season, like the um, last couple episodes. I hadn't seen any of the episodes, so when it came time to him, when he built his house and he left the grass on there, B was going nuts about the fact that he has no roof and he hasn't done anything with the roof yet. I was going over nuts over the fact that he has grass for his ground, but then he changed that, but then he did, he, he, he did, didn't change as much as he could. He, yeah. Come on, dude. You're Markiplier. You are creative. We believe in you. Look how much better this is. You made a heist with Markiplier. Yes. You make this. Yes, a heist with Markiplier. My goodness. A date with Markiplier. All those things. So creative. But you couldn't have done this. It looks so much better this way. Or even the way that B has going for it right now. Yeah, we're going to make two separate different versions that you could make your house. Yes. Sans um, slimes, because apparently slimes keep spawning. Yeah, but, minus the slimes. Yeah, minus the slimes. This is why you need a roof, dude. This. This is why. Let me just fix that weather there one moment here. Eep, boop. It'll fix. Thank you, God. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. I am God. All right. Now we're not gonna go too fancy on the decoration of his house. I think. Uh, yeah, I think I think we we can keep it simple and uh, rustic. Yeah, yeah. It's just that the fact that he has no roof and he still hasn't done anything with that roof. So no jungle, no um. No fancy dancy stuff. Nope. No dark oak. Nope. So. Just just slabs and things. Oh, and you should probably teach him what a. Uh, stone cutter is so he knows how he can cut stone easier and also how to make stairs because he apparently for forgot how to make stairs. Oh my goodness, he did? Yes, he did not know how to make stairs. Okay, here we go. Stone, stone cutter. Here, Mark, baby. All right, 
This this is a stone cutter, Mark. And don't worry, you can't hurt yourself on this. Don't worry, I've, I've tried. <laughs> Alright, but look at this. Look at this! One block and I can get one slab, one stair, or one fence. You can use this for anything mesa. You can use this for marble. You can use this for stone, either cobble or smooth, or plain stone. More or less anything. Really, anything. I guess not wood, though, because of the stone cutter. But yeah, look at this. Boom! Right here. Looky, Mark. Ta-da! But, um, also the fletching table and the, uh, what was it? The, um, the, what was it? The other table that he put down. Uh, that would be... The black, the blacksmith? It's like a smithing table. Smithing yeah. table, yeah. Yeah, they're useless right now. Currently useless. They're only using... 1.16 comes up. Yes. You can only use, uh, the only thing that they use it for is the fletching table allows you to turn a villager into a fletching villager. Which you don't have. Which you don't have, but who knows? Maybe you'll get to there at one point, Mark. All right, I really gotta actually start doing something. I just changed the floor. If you hear any crickets, don't worry. That's just the food for Kevin. <laughs> Ignore the crickets. Adorable cute little Kevin. Yes. Should we teach him the cool, uh, command, um, uh, cool like thing about uh what is it scaffolding um he has no access to bamboo right now so ah poor mark sorry bud he could be taught how to strip oak logs though okay yes yes that is a useful skill that most people know yes so uh, but it's definitely not of the old uh old game yes so let's say you have a tree like so sorry you get an axe could be any kind of axe instead of hitting with uh, clicking with your left you click it with your right and look at that and they all like the woods all have different effects so that was oak we just did here's jungle it's different it looks really cool and you can add different floor patterns. Like if you come to my house, you Should can see the floor is made out of stripped oak logs in different patterns and orientations. Yeah, I'll just... I have definitely made a color house. Yes. Look at that. She has oak going this way and then oak going that way. And it's really pretty simple. Yeah. You just gotta place the log down and then you strip it. Mm. Or you can strip it first and cut it back up, which takes a little bit of uh, usability on your axe, and then place it down whatever orientation like. You can even strip it on the tree. Yep. Now, we could give you a, uh, make this an attic. Hmm. Give you more space to put your things. Yes. And we don't mean 16 buckets of, uh, 16 buckets. Yeah, just buckets. Why, why 16 buckets? Why 16 buckets? Yeah, you said you had ADD and you did that. I have ADD. I don't make 16 buckets there, Mark. I know it was for a bit, but come on. There's just so many buckets. So many buckets. Uh, okay, got to do this. Now to get logs to lay like this, you have to have them, you have to click it like this. You can't click it to the side like that. See, it only works this way, unfortunately.
Now the cool thing about stairs is you can put them upside down to make them look nicer. Instead of like this, gravity defying stairs, you can go underneath, click the top part, and boom, thicker stairs, more reasonable. for things instead of uh, full blocks, which you can make on your handy dandy crafting table, yes. you can use up less blocks because it, uh, how much is it for a slab? Let me just double check here. It makes six, I believe. Yes, so if you put uh, three blocks in, you get six slabs, so every block of wood that you get becomes more slabs. Mm -hmm. Plus, unfortunately, there is a downside to slabs. You can't, like, if you ever get uh, things to hang off of it, it won't stay. So when you have excess iron in the future, because you will not be spending it on multiple buttons, uh, you will eventually be able Oops. to go and make uh, lanterns. Yes. A great way to illuminate your home. Illuminate your life. Yes. Yes. So you can decide where you want to put them on here. But for, you know, say, we'll just do this. Do you want to ta tell Mark about diamonds and why finding them that way was not a good idea? I mean, strip mining is is the standard way of, of diamond hunting, but I mean, you can technically do it any way you want to, but it's very much more efficient to strip mine, which is mine in a section in a straight line and then go from that straight line to another straight line about two or three blocks over, depending on how you like to strip mine and then continuing on there and making kind of branches and, and just kind of going off in a direction instead of breaking everything in one spot and continuing on. Mm -hmm. And what about the level? The level of what? Oh, the, the level of diamonds, yes. Uh, level 12 normally is diamond level, so if you mine below it, you're going to have lava lakes up here on your head, which happened fairly often in this video. Yes, he would dig and then all of a sudden lava! Lava. It's it, nice to meet you, but I don't want you here. It got to the point where I was kind of cheering on the lava. I'm sorry, Mark. <laughs> but like, after a few times, you're like, hmm, you're holding on to diamonds. You had time to put them in a chest, but you're holding on to them still. Giving everyone anxiety. Yep. Um, and then you go digging under lava and you're digging up. You were asking for uh, some problems there. I like that. I like that idea. That sounded scary. But don't worry, it was not. Mm. Just not be. Scary. It's not scary, no. In the old Minecraft, that used to be a sound that you only heard when you were getting close to, um, close to a dungeon, but now it just plays randomly. Well, that is good. Yes. 
So nothing to worry, Mark. Just ignore it. Ignore it. Ignore it. It's not that dangerous. There are so many bats I'm hearing right now. Oh yeah. Are they in the attic that I built? Possibly. Oh! And see, this is why you need to illuminate your house like crazy, Mark. Or stuff like this will happen. No. Luckily, I'm in survival mode. So they're not going to attack me. But you can murder them all you want. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Quite the, that's quite the attic. Yeah. You need to dust out your attic there, Mark. <laughs> All right, we, oh, no, there's still a bat. <laughs> we cleared out the attic. All right. So that looks okay, but let's add more stuff to this. You could put a nice little window here. Really? Working on it. <laughs> Why? Those reasons. You can do this. And Mark, yes. Glass panes do exist. Yep, they're not as hard to make as you thought they were. No. Alright, now let's work on this little garden you have going on here with your weird abstract house there, Mark. Now you can just throw down plants, or you could get clay, make some terracotta pots, which is similar to making a bucket, or as we like doing on our series, we like getting grass blocks. Which you need a silk touch pickaxe to do. Yes, yes. So get that enchanting table set up and hope you have more than 30 levels. <laughs> And then, um, get some trap doors. Now, since I always like using the birch one for this one, so yeah. Let's put some birch down. And there you go. And let's get some flowers. What, what, what flowers should we put for down for Mark's house here? Uh, he probably have access to poppies and dandelions. Poppies and dandelions. Okay, we got dandelions and poppies. So oh. pretty, so unique. Oh. There we go. You have a nice little garden under your house. All right, let's fancy up the doorway, buddy. Oh yeah, Mark, you may not know this. This is a, a new thing where you get a shovel and similar to the ax, you can right click and it makes a pathway. And lucky for you, mobs will not, they can cross it, but they will not spawn on pathways. So mobs will not appear on here. So if you really don't want mobs anywhere near your house, Make your entire yard pathways.
Now I'm done for the basic design of his roof. Just something very simple, but it also gives him extra room for when he collects more stuff and hopefully not lose them. Oh geez, I got rid of the door. Oops. Also, Mark, instead of a button, try pressure plates. You can uh, put pressure plates down. You could have them match the floor if you want or not. But you put them here, you run out, they open and close. You will have to open them when you come in, but they'll close behind you. That way mobs don't get in. But you can get away from the mobs when they're chasing you without having to worry about closing the door. Like so. Now we gotta replace your bed because I had to move it. Let's put your bed right here, next to the stone cutter. Well, I think I'm done. I'm not doing anything too crazy with this house. How about uh, you? I'm going a little crazy, but I am almost done. I just want to test out one thing here. Uh, I, ah, wrong thing, wrong thing, wrong thing. Got it. Almost got it. Alrighty. You ready? I, I think I'm good. Okay, we'll do a tour. How about we do a tour of my house since it's more simple? Yes. <laughs> Something that Mark can accomplish by himself. Mine is more complex in certain ways, oh. but less complex in other ways. Alright, so here we go. We have made a, grand, a little entrance, added a little garden. Now this is what it looks like without the top grass. But once we go inside, the pressure plates will close the door behind us. Ah! Oh, Hello. hi. Yes. So I have to move the house, uh, the, the bed, over to here. But you can put that anywhere you want. You can decorate your own house. Add a little library area. But I put a stairways for up here. And you can use this as a storage area. Mm -hmm. Of course it's raining. Of course it is. One sec. Yes. There we go. But yes, color point, uh, panes of glass. Awesome. Yeah, now let's have... And very, really uh, pleasing to the eye. Now, if we come on over here, my oh. entrance is on this side of the house. Cause I was. I thought we were building it this way. I'm. I'm just gonna do like show the back, like here. Ah. We have a little garden because you have that weird wall. I mean, it's better to have something that's not 100%. You know, square. Yeah. Rectangular. Yeah, but it just made it awkward. But I turned it into a garden. Add some fence posts and upside down stairs. You can have a nice little windowsill. I have like a cottage-like uh, roof, shutters, and yeah, very, very simple. Had fun there? So many slimes! Yes, apparently the slimes are using the pool, uh, or the water feature as a pool. All right. All right, uh, all set. You have a creeper in your house. I did not put enough torches. <laughs> Be aware of the level of the number of torches you have in there and how bright it is. Because even if you think your area is good, it is still, it could still easily spawn uh, creepers and skeletons and mobs like that. Well, you know, this is a good example of something that you can do nice and simple to go and fix your house. So if you come on in. All right. You kept the button idea. All right. Yeah, I kept the button idea. So it's like, it's a simple way that he does it. So if we want to put a block there and a block inside of it, and then this, uh, if I shift, uh, nope, wrong way. E, boop, ta -da! It's a candle. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know that. Yep. That is... So that's another way to light it up. So that way this area is still there. I kept his bed in the same spot, but I extended it. So that way it's a little bit more of a big bed. You can choose either bed to sleep in. And we've got some signs around the edges with no words on it to go and make it kind of look like you're tucked in nice and cozy. I extended out where the uh, furnaces were, so that way it's one block away from the wall. And you can just kind of put that out like that. We've got the loom that he was so crazy concerned about what the heck a loom was. <laughs> so I put that in there so that way he could go and have it. The stone cutter and the crafting thing, so all your crafting stuff is in one spot. There's room for storage, room for a little desk, and you can put whatever you want on top of this. 
uh, along with the little flower that I put there. Mm. And I made that area that's over here, since he's already got the wall set up with this section with the windows going upwards, you can make that into the stairway. And up on this floor, we've got a spider still oh. outside. If I can. Just a sec. <laughs> Die! You're ruining the moment! Die! There you go. Uh, just fix that there. And we've got this little chimney over here, which we will be able to see from the outside in a little bit. I put some rafters in so that way the ceiling looks like it makes sense. And with this over here, we can also go and put as many torches as we want below it. Or when you finally get the ability to have lanterns, you can go and hang lanterns down. The co roof is cobblestone, which is an easy resource to get. When you finally get books, this is a nice way to ensure that you get the 100% crafting. And the book can be right in the center there. Make sure you don't put anything in the way, because if you do, then you will not be able to enchant fully. But you can kind of just look down and peer into your crafting tables. Doom. I mean, enchanting of doom. Yes. Doomy doom. Doom doom doom. Uh, and then there's slabs here, so you can nicely walk up into it. If you do fall into the center, because you will fall into the center, you can go and just jump as normal. And so that's a nice oak flooring up there to go and be a little bit different from the perch of the walls. I didn't have the time yet to go and make any kind of rafters, but that's a simple enough fix. You can go and take any kind of stairway and just kind of boop, 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 make a ledge, make it look a little bit nicer. And you can go put anything that you want on those. These are being held up by simple oak logs going straight up. And once again, the ladder didn't really have a use for me, but I extended it all the way up onto the side. And you can see there's a itty bitty roof over here. And it's a little bit different than a standard roof. It actually follows the curve of everything and goes a block up along with staircases or uh, stairs and slabs on the edges to make it just that little bit more extended. And you have a little chimney. Yep. And there's a campfire deep down inside there, which you can go and create just from logs and sticks and a little bit of coal or charcoal. So that should be easy enough for him to be able to craft along with some trap doors to make it look just a little bit more extended and a little bit more tight. Yes. If you put a hay barrel, if you ever get a hay barrel, put it underneath your fireplace and it will extend the smoke higher. Yes. So once he has surplus of the wheat that he is creating, he'll be able to do that. Oh, we totally forgot to do something in both our houses. Yes. What? Uh, picture frame, sign, and the magic item. Bread has been got. Bread? Fire. Yes. So... Those are a simple way and a more creative way of adding a roof onto your house. Yes. Mark, get to it. Roof. You, you, you built a farm and a well that is not useful. Yes. Build a roof. Yes. Now, also a quick thing about your waterfall. Yes. <laughs> Come that... over here and speak into the mic. Wait. One sec. I'm just grabbing dirt. Yeah. So the problem that you were having is that you didn't let your water completely like flow out you you had some water still remaining so if i was to go and put this down and just kind of go like loop 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 and loop you see how all the water goes away when you had done it before you had left like a little bit like that and then you had gone immediately like this and so it still ended up flowing in a weird and different direction so it didn't quite work out, but if you place blocks underneath it, then you can fix that. Same with the holes, which if I can get myself a bucket, which is a little bit harder to do in creative than it is in regular Minecraft, <laughs> because sometimes the water physics go crazy. You just need one, one bucket. Yeah, I'm just trying to make that glitch happen. Yeah, it's a glitch. Where it has problems. There we go, see. So if you have this glitch happen, I, I don't see it on my screen. You don't see it on your screen? No, no. Oh, okay. Uh, here, uh, take a bucket. Okay, okay, I try, got it. Try to make the glitch happen. Oh, there we go, got it. Okay, so if you just put a block in it, and then remove the block, the glitch will go away. <gasps> Ta-da! Yay! And then for mine, mine is over here. Uh, yeah. On my screen, but All right. my screen isn't useful. Yes. Ta-da! Ta-da! B. Yes. Where are you? Over here. Oh, oh, hi. Over here. Hey. Meow. Over here. Yeah. Say bye. Uh, me? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Say bye. 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 <laughs>